Hi friends, many people love to come and live in Turkey and many people like to visit Turkey for tourism. With the inflation that's happening nowadays and the price change of uh, US dollar Turkish lira, is it still worth it to come and live in Turkey or is it good to visit Turkey? Is it cheap or expensive? I will leave this for you to decide after you watch this video. In this video, we're gonna share a lot of things and show you a lot of prices in the supermarket, in the mall for some garments. Also, we're gonna talk about the house rent and we're gonna talk about the car prices, the driving license, and also we're gonna talk about the insurance cost if you want to make it for the iqamat you want to get in Turkey or which is called the residence permit. And also we're gonna talk about the phone prices, the electricity bills, how much does it cost in Turkey. Today while I'm recording the video on 24 June in 2022, the US dollar versus TL versus the Turkish lira is 16.88. Let us start by talking about the house rent. I live in Antalya. The area that I'm living in is considered a nice neighborhood in the center of Antalya, which is close to the beach, just walking distance like about uh, 200 meters. Uh, this year, the landlord wanted to triple our rent for the year. After a negotiation with him, we were able to set the rent for doubled amount from the previous year, which is a huge increase. So imagine if you're working in Turkey and uh, your salary is not doubled and suddenly someone tells you that your house rent is double now. That's a big amount. If you want to rent a house in Antalya for an area of 120 meters square to 150 meters square, you're gonna prepare yourself to pay an amount between 6,000 Turkish Lira to 12,000 Turkish Lira. Uh, the rent contracts in Turkey uh, is made for uh, one year contract and uh, before the end of the contract by two weeks you have the right to acknowledge the landlord that we don't want to renew and if uh, he doesn't want to renew also he has to acknowledge you uh, two weeks before. Last year there was an increase on the electricity bills in Turkey by 15% so with fuel prices increasing I believe it's going to increase again. Let us wait and see what will happen. I'm going to post one of my electricity bills so you can have an idea how much it costs per month. And uh, I can tell that it depends on how much you use electricity or you consume electricity at your house. But if you are living in Antalya in the summer, between end of May and until uh, mid of September, definitely you're going to need air conditions all the time because the weather in Antalya in the summer on those three months goes up very high where in July and uh, in August the temperature reaches 40-45 degrees Celsius in some days so that's very hot and uh, if you are in winter uh, also you're gonna need some heating December, January, February, March so this will uh, be making difference in your electricity bill the minimum wage in Turkey it's now 5,000 TL as a gross salary, gross wage. And the net, the minimum wage that an, an employee gets in his hand is 4,250 Turkish Lira. It's very low with the inflation that's happening now. But uh, in fact, it increased almost by 50% from last year to this year. Last year, it was 2,826 Turkish Lira per month, the minimum wage. So now it's 4,250. If you are a foreigner and coming to live in Turkey, you're gonna do your ikamet or you're gonna do your residence permit. Uh, you are obliged to uh, make uh, health insurance. This health insurance cost 1,173 Turkish Lira for me this year based on the age. And uh, compared with last year, 180 Turkish Lira. So it's almost multiplied by five this year. So and uh, year after in 2023, it's also gonna be more and more. So if you gonna know uh, more about how to apply for a residence permit, I have a video about obtaining a residence permit in Turkey, go and check it. Public transportation in Antalya. If you are coming through Antalya airport, it's easy to find public transportation either by taxi, bus or by metro. The cost of the ticket is not expensive relatively is very cheap with respect to using a taxi 
the public transportation from the main airport in Antalya, it will drop you immediately in the center of Antalya in the old town or into different locations. It depends where are you going. Uh, within the city, it will cost you about uh, 6.75 Turkish lira for one ride. And uh, this is in 2022, where in 2021 it was 3.65. It almost doubled. And if you are using this bus for the airport uh, transportation, it depends on the bus number, uh, the payment will be doubled. The tariff will be doubled since you are going to the airport. Taking a taxi from uh, Antalya, center of Antalya to the airport, it will cost you between 200 and uh, 300 TL. It depends the location you are going from uh, for a time of 25 to 30 minutes. So just be aware from scams. There is always meters in the taxi. So whenever you go into the taxi, make sure that the meter is reset and you're starting with a new meter. And once you stop, pay as per the meter and always make sure that you have change uh, and not big amounts, not big uh, notes in your hand so you can pay the exact amount for the taxi because sometimes some scams can happen and they can tell you that no change to return for you or whatever. Newly in Turkey, almost about one year ago, scooters were introduced, especially uh, in Antalya, in the center of Antalya. Uh, you can just download the app. You need to have internet connection on your mobile and you scan uh, the barcode on the scooter that is attached to the electric elements on the roads or to a tree or anywhere and then you can use it and it will charge your uh, credit card automatically and once you park it also you can stop there is a small process you do to uh, assure that you stopped it and it's really very useful to use if you are a tourist in Turkey and you want to roam freely as we all know there is a fuel crisis taking place internationally and uh, definitely it's affecting Turkey very much and it's increasing the prices and helping the inflation to increase and to rise. So I'm going to show you a video uh, two weeks ago. I was fueling my car. Uh, I was filling my car with fuel. My car works on diesel and uh, one liter of diesel uh, two weeks ago almost was uh, 24 Turkish lira and uh, nowadays it is 30 Turkish Lira so there is an increase of 20% within two weeks in the fuel prices and definitely this will increase the price of every single product in the market because every product depends on transportation to reach its final destination to be sold. Mobile invoices. We all use our mobiles on a daily basis for internet connection and to make calls so uh, due to the inflation the prices of uh, the mobile on all networks has uh, increased too much. Like for myself, I was paying uh, 38 Turkish Lira one year ago for uh, 750 minutes uh, of talk time, 1000 SMS and for 10 gigabytes. And now I am paying 68 Turkish Lira. So there is an increase of almost 40% in the prices. Uh, if you're having the dollars or the euros and you are converting the money, you will not feel that you are affected. But if you are a Turkish person and you're getting your salary and your money in the Turkish Lira, this will make a huge difference. The price of electronics in Turkey, usually it's higher than outside. But if you are bringing your mobile, from outside Turkey to register it in the Turkish government or to pay its customs, you're gonna pay a lot for it to register it. So I always recommend that you sell your phone outside if you're going to settle in Turkey and then come to Turkey. If you are using your mobile, uh, it has limited time to be operated, which is three months. Then the phone will be blocked and even if you insert a SIM card in it, it will not open a signal to use it. If you're going to buy a phone in Turkey, relatively the prices are high. Uh, for example, if you want to buy the latest Samsung S22, uh, it's going to cost you about 17,000 Turkish Lira, which is equivalent to 1,000 US dollars nowadays. Or if you're going to buy iPhone 13, also 128 gigabytes, uh, same as the Samsung, it's going to cost you about 22,500 Turkish Lira plus or minus, which is equivalent to 1,300 US dollars. So 
make your decision before you come to this country and research the phone prices so you can know what to do. When you are in Turkey, definitely you're going to need a car if you're going to live here. Or you might opt for renting a car to go for long distances. Or if you're coming in tourism journey, I definitely recommend that you rent a car in Turkey because Turkey is very big and it has a very scenic roads. It's very enjoyable to roam it with a car. Prices vary a lot, depends on the season. Like in the summer now, in this month, you can find a company who's renting a car for one week, 1,200 Turkish lira. And you can find a company who's renting the same car for an amount of 3,250 Turkish lira. I'm talking based on experience. If you are taking a car for long journeys, consider to rent a diesel car, which is uh, much more cheaper with regards to the fuel. But if you are driving within the city, it's almost the same. Buying a car in, in Turkey is good and bad at the same time. The prices of cars in Turkey are very high because Turkey imposes uh, a very high tax on the cars, even the cars that are being produced in Turkey. But the good thing is that the price of cars in Turkey is always tied to the US dollar currency. For example, if you bought a car last year for $7,000 and the US dollar increased this year versus the Turkish lira, so now the car is going to have uh, more value and the price of the car is going to increase. Uh, I don't know how this happens in Turkey, but to never feel that the car is depreciating, the car prices are always going up. Registering your car in Turkey under your name, it will cost you about uh, 500 Turkish lira with the notary, And uh, you also need to uh, translate your passport, which is for about 300 Turkish lira. Plate numbers, it will cost you about uh, 100 Turkish lira. Doing a driving license in Turkey is uh, not a big fuss. So, uh, but I don't know why they ask uh, that you should translate your university degree and they ask you about uh, your education. The total cost of the driving license is uh, 5,000 Turkish Lira almost. It varies between 4,700 and 5,000 Turkish Lira. And you have uh, some translations you need to do and uh, a medical test, which is with a separate cost about uh, 1,000 TL, 1,000 Turkish Lira. So you can also apply for the uh, driving license in Turkey in different languages. And let us now move to the supermarket to show you some prices inside the supermarket and how it's changing from year to year. I'm here at Migros, Migros Triple M. It's one of the main supermarkets in Turkey. Migros Kafur, Tahtakali. They are all the shopping, super, shopping supermarkets food and uh, grocery those are the first prices this is apricot it's called kayisi in turkish it's for 24.95 turkish lira for one kilogram this is the banana it's called loose yearly this is local it's for 16.90 turkish lira this is the avocado two pieces for 17.80 turkish lira and this is another kind of avocado, it's for 11.90. Tomatoes, tomatoes is for 9.95 Turkish Euro. This is the corn. Here is the walnuts. It's called Javis in Turkish. One kilo is for 65 Turkish Euro. This is the cucumber. For 13.75. This is yogurt, 3 liters for 41.50. Cheese. Those are eggs. 30 pieces of medium size, orta size, 28.50 Turkish Lira. This is the chicken, one kilo of chicken, it's 97.90 but with a discount now, it's 73.43. This is minced meat, those are the prices. Schnitzel. 
pretzels, nuggets. The whole chicken is for 32.90 Turkish lira. Chicken thighs, one kilo is for 36.90. This is the bread. One piece of bread, 200 uh, grams. It's for four uh, Turkish lira. Those are baguette, 0 0.75 grams, uh, one piece is for 3.75. At night usually they make discount to get, uh, to finish the amount they have to prepare freshly in the next day. Nutella, 400 grams is 28.90. Olives, cheeses, alcoholic drinks, Pomonti, 50 centiliters, 31 Turkish lira. Efes, Corona, is relatively expensive in Turkey with respect to the local market. Bud, Budweiser, 50 centiliters. 15 Turkish lira is the 30 centiliters, 25 centiliters FS. Sorry, it's for 15 Turkish lira. FS costing is 27.50. This is the cheapest regal, 475 Turkish lira for the 70 centiliters. Evet. 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 You can find some clothes, some slippers. Also swimwear, bags, hats. The prices you are seeing now, I believe that uh, next week, if not tomorrow, it will be changed and more expensive. This is what's happening in Turkey due to the inflation. The shampoo, as you can see, this is Pantene. This is head and shoulders. For men and women, almost same prices. When you are at Migros and you see the yellow sign, it means it's discounted. And this is special for Migros card. It's a free card. You can just order it at the counter. Baby diapers. Those are the prices. When you see the word in the rim, this means it's discounted. This is Godiva. Those are the prices of the rice. Pasta. By the way, the word pasta in Turkish means uh, sweets or cake. Red Bull. Red Bull, uh, one piece to 50 milliliters is for almost 15 Turkish lira, 14.95. Coffee. This cafe gold. Jacobs, Starbucks, T 
empty. Turkey is very famous for the tea they prepare. It's not much famous for the tea bags. They prepare the loose tea in the bag. They buy the big bags and they prepare it at home with two kettles. And it's prepared, it's mixed water and tea. The tea is never heated. This is my shopping bag. Only apricots. Bicycles. This is the water prices. Mainly this is one of the cheapest in the market. This is the Cabox, Corner Flakes. The never ending choices. Toothbrush. You never know what you want and which one to choose. This is. Uh, Shaving plates, price for sets. I'm going uh, to the mall, the Stella City Mall, to see some prices of some uh, garments. I'm inside the parking with the mall. It's third season in Turkey. I'm here at Tara City. So the prices of jeans at uh, let's see what it is. Caps, prices of caps. T-shirts. It's raining in Antalya. We are in June. This could happen in Antalya from year to year. But too much water. My, my car is drowning in the water. I was in the pool. It's summer season swimming with the car. At the end, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope it benefits you. Good luck with your journey in Turkey.